My name is Jerry Hancock, and I'm going to blow you away. So anyway, I want to talk about a little bit about uh, things that propel or different phases. So really, I'm going to talk about phases. So one of the things that's going on a lot of times in the winter time, we get coughs and get colds, and we cough. Now, when we cough or we sneeze, you know that we uh, we propel. You know, our mouth when we breathe out, there's a there's a we um, exhale or expel. You know, um, gases. We also expel liquids. Now, one thing that I'm going to show here is we also have different phases. So, in our in our mouth, in our body, I should say. We have water, for instance, that we breathe out. We can't see the breath as we're breathing out, but if I cool it down, so I'm going to use some liquid nitrogen, and we'll do another segment to talk about what liquid nitrogen is, but it's cold. So just like going outside, it condenses your breath. So you see the, the amount of liquid, or the amount of water, I should say, not liquid, but water that's being it coming out of your breath. Now that goes for a lot of different things, and we won't really go into that in this video. But but I want to show, I want to talk about that expelling. Now, if I'm normally breathing, there's not that much expelling. It's certainly not liquids. Now, if I spit, that's that's another thing. But if I sneeze, which is a lot more force, a sneeze comes out at about. 100 miles per hour. Now, if uh, for a cough, it's 50 miles per hour. So if you think about the distances that you need to be away from somebody to not get that particulate on you, then that changes depending on whether it's cough or whether it's a sneeze. So now back to nitrogen. Nitrogen is a gas. And in, like, in the uh, atmosphere, it's 78 eight percent of the air we breathe. Now, I use this nozzle, and if you saw the first time I shot it, I, I turned on the nozzle, it came out like this. Okay, so it, it's coming out very, very fast. It's very cold, but it's coming out fast. And it's, it's coming out as a liquid, but it's turning into a vapor. So it's, it's evaporating as fast as it's coming out. But in reality, there's two phases that are coming out of here. There's a gas phase and a liquid phase. And that's not really that different than when you cough. There's two phases. There's your breath, and then there's also um, liquids. And the things that about viruses is mostly, most of the time, it's the liquids that we're worried about. So um, now, so what do I do to slow that down? So let me go, let me first of all show this now with the valve. So if I take this, and you might want to come up and get in on this. So you see that when it comes out now with this valve, it doesn't propel. It comes out as a liquid, almost like a rain. But it's separating those two phases. Now the thing that's inside this nozzle that separates those two phases is a piece of cindered metal. So it's a metal that's porous. And it's like this. And so as it hits that metal, it slows down and separates those two phases. Okay, now the thing that's interesting about this, in my opinion, on, on, on the uh, the cold or virus front is that if I put a mask, even a non-certified medical mouse mask, I'm now slowing down doing the same thing the phase separator does. And it doesn't really need to be anything more than something to slow down that, that uh, breath. So it doesn't, now if I'm breathing in particulates, so I'm breathing in, okay, that's different. Now I'm going to want a, a, a more fine mask 
so that that particulate doesn't get into my mouth. So, um, so if I, so there's two different things to think about. It's the exhale and the inhale. And so, um, but the the way to protect others would be to put a mask on to protect them from the exhale. But in order, you would want a finer particulate mask in order to protect from the inhale. So the, um, but if you're protecting from one way, you're really protecting from the other. So it's, um, so because you're slowing down that, <coughs> you're slowing down that, that, uh, per, that exhale. So that's really the, that's probably the, the extent of what I really wanted to talk about is giving that perspective of phase separation and slowing down is, is how we can, and how we can protect ourselves from other people. Now, sometimes we say, well, give distance. You don't need as much distance if you're already slowing it down. And so it's, um, so that, that adds a level of protection.